have just been tuned into the street session with your boy for us and Joe MK. This girl had a thing jumping. This girl basically said, if I'm going on festival stage, I'm killing it. This girl basically said, if I get that £1,000 marketing check, I know where to use it. This girl basically said, when I pull up to that studio session, yeah, with them professionals, I might not even need you, <laughs> Like, it was fire. We got Shalana Azura in the building. Woo! Linking up again. Obviously, we link up all the time. Link up all the time. It's every day. <laughs> The outside. All right, listen, we're here at Hoxton Underbelly again. And you know what? I can't lie. You were too impressed? I was too impressed with you. I saw and creams. It was, a, it was a lit, man. Yeah. Work hard, play hard. That's what yeah. we can say. And we, we did an interview there. Yes. And we spoke about you potentially being on a festival stage. Oh, yeah. I think we did. Yeah. I think we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Caught you in 4K. Caught me in 4K, manifesting my wildest dreams. <laughs> And now I've got the opportunity to potentially play at one. So, yeah. Let's no, guess. I can't even lie. Listen, like, jokes aside, like, that performance was amazing. I think what you do that I felt like a lot of people didn't really do today was yeah. engage with the audience. Um, give us music that wanted us to actually move. Um, in terms of that being part of your performance, was that something that you were actually trying to do when picking the songs you were playing today? 100%. Like, whenever I do a set, I'm always thinking about, like, obviously you want to make the crowd happy, mm. but I also want to make myself happy and choose my best songs. Mm. But it's kind of a weird one because I sing R&B, right? Mm. And it's not known to be the most jumpy genre. Like, if I could, I could just sit there and just stand and close my eyes and sing, but you have to find that balance, like you said, between, like, engaging with the audience. Mm. I feel like the way I do it is through storytelling. I love to tell my story. I talk too much but it's the way that at least I'm telling my story like what's the point of doing this music if you don't know why <laughs> do you know what I mean so obviously the music speaks for itself as well but it's always nice to kind of say like this is where it came from like insides yeah, yeah, and, and I think people connect with that and then they're just drawn in much more when they when they hear the story behind it so yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it no no and I have to talk to you as well also about you know <laughs> let's rewind let's rewind that <laughs> I'm editing it. So uh, <laughs> when you look back at it, Sharif, cut. Anyways, I'm um, <laughs> telling myself that. Um, I want to talk about, you know, obviously you're, you're about to be on a festival stage and we did manifest Amen. it last year, which is Amen. mad. You definitely will, but I generally can't see it in any way that you don't win, personally. Um, what would that mean to you, though, you know, to, you know, go from, because obviously I think your first time backstage experience was with me doing press, right? Like, going from being backstage doing press to then on stage a year later, uh, it's almost basically 365 days, literally a year later, almost. Like, what would that mean to you? Honestly, it would mean everything to me. And I think it would just prove to myself that actually when you focus, when you believe in yourself, mm. when you put your focus onto something, your goals, then it can happen. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, not, it can happen, it will happen. Mm. And I think, like, for once, I'm actually getting to the point where I actually believe in myself. And I know it sounds mad. It's not, like, in any kind of cocky way. Mm. I, I genuinely did not believe in myself before. I used to think, I'm not good enough. I'm not. Mm. I ain't got the best voice. I ain't got this and that. Mm. And I used to compare myself a lot mm. to other people. Mm. So now it's like, rah, shell. If you actually believe in yourself, mm. you actually put in the work, yeah. you put in the energy, you put in the time, yeah. you focus on your goals and you yeah. focus on what you want, mm. it's going to happen. Yeah, so. and I believe that because we've had many conversations behind the scenes where I've always been like, like you don't have to like, just don't think about it, just do what you got to do and you'll get there. Um, and I think that's a testament to who you are as an artist because, you know, from the first time when we met at, at what if, uh, it's funny, we've moved from three I different know, students yeah. now. <laughs> we've bad different students now, but from the first time that we met at studio, like, I saw the energy and I saw what you was bringing to the table, which is one of the main reasons why I even invite you to, like, you know, backstage, because, you know, you're the only person I've ever interviewed that I actually roll with. Like, legit, roll with. So, I genuinely believe in the talent that you bring and I genuinely believe in, you know, you as an artist. I appreciate and, you, man. I appreciate you. Like, you don't have to. You don't have to yeah. support it, but you do. And, yeah. you know, that means a lot when, you know, you came to me and you said, I love this song. Yeah. I was like, are you sure? Like, I don't know about this song. You're like, yo, played on the radio. I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, perform it, okay. Like, yeah. so, you know, and it takes that, you know, it takes that one person, I don't, like, one person to believe in you and you're like, yeah. oh, shit. Like, yeah. If someone believes in me, then why, not, why am I not believing in myself kind of thing? So a lot of it is you guys, you guys, the energy you give me. I couldn't perform the way I perform without the energy that everyone gives me when, yeah, yeah. when I'm up on stage because it just wouldn't be the same. So, yeah, I appreciate you, basically. 
It's all love, it's all love. And obviously, I've got to ask you, obviously, you get that £1,000 check for your marketing, for your music. Um, what would you want to spend mostly on? Because obviously, you know, in terms of marketing, you know, we've got the social media side of things now, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook. You know, you can even add YouTube ads to that, if you want to say, um, studio time. Like, where do you think that £1,000 would need to be spent? Interesting, very interesting question. Um, I, I work in social media, so I'm very much yeah. like used to and understand the world of YouTube and social media advertising. So I think it's very powerful once you have the right budget and like you know that like, the right people to kind of push your campaign. So I definitely would invest in like YouTube ads or like other social media campaigns because it's yeah. everyone's on social media, right? Like it's where everyone's at. Yeah. So why not and um definitely stuff like pr as well i feel like yeah, having that um the brand awareness and getting people like written people write about you and kind of getting my name out there the brand out there that would be really um useful because it's like long term i want to talk about the studio session as well yes. um obviously you went a studio session um i heard it's it's, it's more than one day as well so it's, it's a good mm-hmm. session um how important is that you know getting that kind of you know feedback and also being in a room with somebody that's been around been around the block worked with you know some of the biggest artists in the game right now and being able to gain that kind of experience being that kind of room as an as an up-and-coming artist or personally for me i say you're already there but you just need that shout but you know as an up-and-coming artist um being in that kind of like space how, how does that make you feel i feel like it would be so valuable because you know first of all studio time's expensive and it kind of holds like, a lot of artists back from writing music and being able to like actually put your music out there so like that's a good opportunity you know not only can i write a song but i can actually get it professionally you know made and stuff like that and all that feedback like i always said mentoring and artist development is probably one of the most valuable things you can ever have because mm. it's like sometimes i just need someone to be like yo is this idea good like what do you think about this do you know what i mean yeah, because yeah. if i'm just doing it by myself like i i don't have a manager i'm self-managed i'm fully independent yeah. and i run everything from my campaigns to my mm. writing to my it's literally a one a one woman show so yeah. you know having that support artist development wise would be amazing so yeah listen all i'm gonna say to you is this right we're gonna end it like this listen We've been outside from days. We've been chilling we for hours outside. on years. We outside. Not only did we meet at World FM, yes. we was wowing that shit at Strawberries and Creams. And I never really got to taste my cream and strawberries, but it's cool. <laughs> uh, I'll take that L. I really want strawberries and creams. Know, like Somebody hook it up. I actually have strawberries and cream at Strawberries and Cream. Like, that needs to be a thing. <laughs> Why is it no strawberries and cream at Strawberries and Cream? Listen, Chris, we had that great interview. I actually asked him that. <laughs> That was my first question. He looked at you and went, uh, I went, yeah. I <laughs> um, but no, honestly, listen. Shalana, you need to be on that big stage. And I'm going to say this, even if you don't make it to this festival, I know there's going to be many, many festivals know, that's going to be there for you. So, hot is in the streets. <laughs> She's not for the streets, fellas. Not for the streets. Ain't no love on these streets, but it's okay. Facts. That's my new she song, already by accomplished way. the streets. Her music is so hot, she got the man who's singing like we girls. That's why she will be at every other festival that we don't even know about. Big Amen. up to Shalana Asora. Amen. Man. Sorry, Amen. Man. Come on. Love so make sure you stay locked in. Check us out. World FM 90.4. This is the Street Sessions with your boy for us with Shalana Azora. All her stuff will be in the link in the description below. So check her out. Obviously, no time is out. Crew is no out. Love, no love is coming out soon. So I don't know when it's going to drop. August? On the 5th of August. 5th of if August. this comes out after that, go run it up. Get me. Yeah, this will be up before the 5th. So yeah. make sure you lock in on the 5th of August. If you've got a pre-order link, give me that. I'll put it in yeah. the description below. And listen, man. Listen, we just outside, man. We, we outside. outside. Yeah, we outside. <laughs> With your boy for us and Joe MK. Why is this the name of our show, bro? Because we're the hottest in the streets. Mm. Catch us online, on the go, and on the FM. Okay, let's go.